on February 16th, 2003, Jack Pierce received a Lifetime Achievement Award by the Makeup Union, and we created four characters for the event at the Max Factor Building in Hollywood, California. The first character that we created was Jack Pierce. Uh, the makeup was designed by Barney Berman and applied by Barney with his assistants, Rebecca Wachtel and Cindy Miguens. The makeup was first used in June of 2000 and then applied here by Barney and his team for the Makeup Union Awards. Perry Shields played Jack Pierce himself. Perry had played the character in the Juth 2000 tribute to Jack Pierce. We also created a Frankenstein monster character. This makeup was completely designed and created by Kevin Haney. It was first tried out as a Glenn Strange makeup in the summer of 1999 and then applied for the Jack Pierce tribute by Kevin in June of 2000 for the original Jack Pierce play. And the makeup was again put on for the 70th anniversary of Frankenstein at the Alex Theater in Glendale and that was in October of 2001. For this event, Barry Coper applied the makeup using Kevin's uh, specific pieces. And when Barry applied it, of course, he used a different color scheme than Kevin, but adhered to the basic same principles that Kevin used when he applied it. The Frankenstein monster was played by Matt Thompson. Matt had played the character several times for the June of 1999 test makeup where he played the Glenn Strange monster. Matt had also played the character in the June 2000 tribute to Jack Pierce and in the October 2001 70th anniversary of Frankenstein at the Alex Theater. The Bride of Frankenstein character was originally designed by Rob Berman with specifications given to him by V. Neal. The makeup was created for the original June 2000 Jack Pierce play and at this occasion Michelle Burke applied it and she used Rob's pieces that he originally had created for V. Neal. This time, Rob had created some new pieces for Michelle using the same techniques that he used when he created the makeup for V. Neal in 2000. Michelle used the basic same scheme that she did when V. Neal had applied it originally, but of course Michelle brought her own skills to the makeup. Michelle Burke created the makeup with assistance from Ron Pipes who created the hair pieces for this particular makeup and she had assistance as well from Yoko Tanagawa. The Bride of Frankenstein character was played by Sheila Marie Shostak, who did the character for the June 2000 tribute to Jack Pierce. The 
Mummy was played by Ken Deshawn. Jack Pierce was never officially awarded by the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences during his lifetime. He was, however, awarded in 1932 when he created The Mummy, and that was given to him by the Hollywood Filmograph. The Mummy makeup had originally been designed and created by Brent Armstrong for the June 2000 tribute to Jack Pierce, and had been applied by Brent and Rick Stratton for the original June 2000 Jack Pierce play. In this instance, Brent is applying the makeup with Andy Schoenberg, who coincidentally applied the Jack Pierce makeup in June 2000 because Barney Berman was on location at the time. The mummy costume was also fabricated by Brent with consultation by Jennifer McManus. Jennifer McManus designed all the costumes for the Jack Pierce tribute, except for the bride costume, which was designed and created by Simone Williams, and the mummy costume, which was consulted on by Jennifer, but actually designed and created by Brent Armstrong. Brent's wife, Andrea Armstrong, also helped with the costumes for the mummy and helped apply the necessary muck to the mummy costume that gave him that crusted 3,700 year old appearance. The Makeup Artist and Hairstylist Guild Awards. My name is Jack Pierce. I was born in 1889, and I came to California to become a baseball player. Instead, I ended up working in the motion picture industry. I worked at Universal Studios in the 1930s and 1940s, and I was responsible for creating the monster characters, such as the Bride of Frankenstein, the Mummy, and the Frankenstein Monster. I died in 1968 in obscurity, but I know that my monster characters live on. We're very happy that the industry is recognizing Jack Pierce, although posthumously, for his contribution to the makeup arts. What we're here to honor him tonight is uh, his most important uh, role, as far as I'm concerned, is when he uh, was the makeup artist for my father in various of his roles in Universal from the 1930s into the 1940s. I think he was a trendsetter. Uh, he established a, a field that has truly never been equal. Uh, his creations have lasted a lifetime, will continue to be uh, into the next generation. And uh, it's just an honor to be here tonight to accept the award on his behalf.